Hello everyone, thank you for turning on the blue lights. Now on today's video, we're going to talk about Kilikumalo's mother versus um, Senzome Yua's mother. Now these two ladies, their children were involved, you know, in a relationship that was very serious, you know, because there was a child that was made, that was made during uh, that relationship. And according to Kilikumalo, you know, Senzo was going to lobola her. You know what I mean? So that's how serious the relationship was, you know. Okay, Lukumalo's mother, as well as Senzo Meiwa's mother, may not have been directly involved in a fight. You know what I mean? They might have not um, directed issues on each other. You know what I mean? But of course, you know, they were behind their children. You know what I mean? So, um, in this instant, I would like to just uh, say that, you know, U Kelikumalo's mother was obviously behind Kelikumalo you know, with this whole thing, because she approved of this relationship. You know what I mean? She didn't have a problem with Kelly Kumalo dating Senzo Meiwa at all, because Usenzo Meiwa was allowed to go to Kelly Kumalo's mother's house. But I wouldn't say the same with Kelly Kumalo. You know what I mean? She was not the favorite Makoti of um, Senzo Meiwa's mother. I don't think that, you know, she was even allowed to go to visit, you know, um, Senzo Meiwa's mother's house. At all. I don't even think that she's been there once. Because we know Uguti Usenzo was a player, right, on the football field, you know. He was very good with the ball and all of that and what's not. But that's not, that was not the only game that he was good at, you know. He was also a good player when it comes to women, you know what I mean? So he was juggling, you know, the ball very well when it comes to the game he was playing between Omandisa and Kelly Kumalo. You know what I mean? Because it seems like Usenzo Meiwa was hitting it both ways. You know what I mean? So um, it seems like he was going to Mandisa and saying, ah, you know, oh, Kelly Kumalo this and Kelly Kumalo that. And then he will go to Kelly Kumalo and say, hi, Mandisa this, Mandisa that, you know, because now we're trying to explain why these both ladies did not want to let go of him. You know what I mean? So men do that when they cheat. They come to you and tell you bad things about the side chicks so that you, um, they make you feel better. And they make you feel, you know, like they are the victims in this whole thing, you know. Like the side chick is the one that is after him and all of that, you know. And when they go to the side chicks, they then say bad things about the wife, you know. To make you as a side chick look like, you know, you are the main one, you know. You are the one that is loved more and all of that. You know what I mean? Yes, that's what they do, you know. And if you are a stupid side chick, of course, you would believe them. You would. So this explains why they were both grappling on this relationship and not really let go of him. Because he was a bad boy, you know, playing ladies like that, you know. And allegedly, apparently, you know, it wasn't the first game that he played, you know. Umandisa had to fight a lot of ladies, you know, side chicks of Senzo Meiwa, you know. Even their friends have said that, you know, he was a ladies' man. You know what I mean? So Mandisa had fought, you know, a lot of side chicks and they backed off. But Ukele Kumalo was not that kind of a side chick who would let go, you know. Usenzo's friends said that, you know, the way it began with Kele Kumalo, you know, um, it was supposed to be just a one a one night stand because Usenzo saw Kele Kumalo on the TV and then he was like, you know, I'm interested in that lady. I wish I have a one night stand with her. You know what I mean? And then he did manage to get a night with Kelly Kumalo. But Kelly Kumalo was not was like, you know what, I'm not that kind of a side chick, you know? If you smash it, you are stuck with it. You know what I mean? So if you're gonna hate it, it's yours forever. You know what I mean? So you're not gonna have a one night stand with me and run away. A hit and run thing. It's not gonna work with me, you know, because three months down the line after the relationship, UKK was already pregnant in Ada. You know what I mean? And according to um, Ukele Kumalo, they were going to be lobolat. You know what I mean? Usenzo was going to lobola her. Do you understand where I'm going with this? And I do not understand what Ukele was thinking what Usenzo Meiwa was going to get away the money to lobola her. You know? Because according to uh, Kele Kumalo, Usenzo was not doing well financially. You know what I mean? That is why he had the, um, she had the audacity to say, you know, um, nobody exactly knew Senzo until he was attached to the brand Kulu Kumalo. You know what I mean? Because she said that he somet uh, she sometimes would give Usenzo money. 
to try and cover, you know, um, his expenses for the month. You know what I mean? Because she had come out and said, you know, oh, Senzo Meiwa's mother hates me so much, but she doesn't know that, you know, she has had my money before. You know? So, um, Usenzo Meiwa seems like she was, um, he was a breadwinner. Kelukumala was saying that, you know, in her own words, um, he was their cash cow because the mother, after hearing the news of the passing of his uh, her own son, instead of saying, oh my God, I lost a son, I'm going to see him again and all of that, you know, the only thing that she was worried about was, see you like, like, what are we going to eat? You know, that um, shows Uguzi, you know what I mean? Uh, Usenzo was a breadwinner. Now in Maroto, you know what I mean? And um, Okele Kumalo is saying, Uguti, some of the bread that he was winning, he was actually getting from Kele Kumalo. So Umama Zala was actually eating Imalika Kele Kumalo, not knowing that the money comes from Kele Kumalo, you know? Yes. So it means that now if Usenzo Meiwa would come home with some groceries, sometimes they were from Kele Kumalo, you know? You know what I mean? So, where was Kisenzo going to get the money to lobola her? You know, if sometimes she was helping him financially, you know, so I don't, I don't know, you know, was she going to give him money now to lobola her or something? You know what I mean? Huh? It's kind of like shaking right there, but then it is what it is, you know. We're not worried about that at all. You know what I mean? We we just want to focus on Kelly Kumalo's mother and um, Zenzo Mayua's mother. So having said that, um, these two ladies, uh, the mothers, they were involved in a very dangerous game and that was played by Kelly Kumalo and Bandisa. You know, you, you get my point. So it was like a tug of war kind of a thing, you know, where Senzo Meiwa was in the middle and these two ladies who are involved with him, they were in the forefront and the two mothers were at the background cheering them up and giving them strategies of how to pull Senzo, um, you know, to them. Do you know what I mean? So it was like Kelly Kumalo, you know, on the front, and um, the rest of the family, Kakumalo, you know, behind her, you know, and helping her to pull the rope. You know what I mean? And then Umandisa, on the other hand, it seems like she had the whole Meiwa family behind her. Because that's the Makoti they knew. You know what I mean? That's the Makoti they married. If there was a marriage, you know what I mean? So they were behind her and trying to help her pull the strings. You know what I mean? Because now Usenzo took advantage of the fact that, you know, the ladies are not ready to let go. So he was doing it both ways. Going this side, saying this. Going that side, saying that. And he was just, you know, enjoying that um, ride. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, it was a dangerous game for him. Because if two ladies are going to fight for a man like that, you know, um, guess what's going to happen? If you are a man and you're going to play a woman's game like that, just know that you're playing a dangerous game. Because now remember, when Senzo's mother said, because now remember, it's been said that, you know, Senzo's mother tried everything to kind of stop Kelly from seeing Senzo. You know what I mean? So sometimes as parents, that's what we do. You know, we get involved in our children's personal lives like that. She did that to an extent of even going to a Sangoma, you know, to kind of like get help. You know what I mean? And on the other side, you know, Kelly Kumalo is herself a Sangoma, you know? So there's already Sangomas involved in both parties. Kelly Kumalo being a Sangoma herself, and then Senzo's mother, as well as the Magoti she had, you know, trying to fight through Sangomas to try and make Kelly let go. But then Ukeli was just holding on and not uh, wanting to let go. It was, it was a kind of like a black magic fight of some sort, if I may put it that way. You know what I mean? So you see Uguti already, it was getting more dangerous for Senzo Meiwa because he's the one who is in the middle of it. U Senzo Meiwa passes away in Kelly Kumalo's mother's house. So there was war already. Before Senzo Meiwa's death, there was war between these two families. You know what I mean? So it means there was war between the two mothers. 
you know, but then it wasn't direct. It was somehow indirect. They were behind their own children, you know, or rather, okay, Lukumalo's mother was behind her child because there's no way she did not know what was going on in Senzo's life between Mandisa and Kelly Kumalo, you know. She knew, and I don't think she did not know that Kelly Kumalo was not welcomed, you know, in the Neyua's family, you know. I don't think she did not know that. But yet, Kelly Kumalo said, you know, she was going to be Lobola. Obviously, her mother was ready to negotiate Lobola with anyone. It could be with um, Senzo's friends or whatever, you know. So she was behind her daughter, you know, at, uh, up to what extent did Uma Mazala and um, other Makoti try to protect Senzo from um, Kelly Kumalo? At, uh, up to what extent did they do it? You know what I mean? Did they plan for Kelly Kumalo to get gunned down? And then it went all left because now Usenzo Meiwa was at the wrong place at the wrong time. He was supposed to be at the party and then now he's in the house. You know what I mean? So, um, but my point here is, whether or not one of the ladies blended or whatever, you know, their reasons might have been in all of that. If it wasn't the ladies who planned it, if the intruders really came in, then Usain Zomeyua was not supposed to be at Kelly Kumalo's mother's house. He being a man that is not cheating. You know what? He wouldn't have been at Foslo in the first place. He wouldn't be in he wouldn't have been in that house if he wasn't cheating, if he wasn't a one night stand kind of a man. So in, in behind the scenes somehow these two ladies they're kind of like hating on each other and blaming each other. Let me not say hating, alright, let me say somehow they are blaming each other. Would say, when are your child shouldn't have done this? When are your child shouldn't have what, what, what? When are my son? When are my daughter? When are this? When are that? Ugh, you know what I mean. You know, so I think Senzo Meiwa's mother is also waiting for, you know, um, Kedo Kumalo's mother to give her side of the story of what unfolded that night in her house because she was one of the people inside the house, you know. She used the crutches, of course, you know, according to the witnesses, you know, to try and fight the intruders. You know what I mean? So I am very much sure that Senzo Meiwa's mother is like, you know, I can't wait to hear her start of a story. You know, is she going to be one of the witnesses, you know, to go on a witness stand and say her side of a story? You know what I mean? <clears throat> so on the other hand, I think okay, Lukumalo's mother is also like, you know, to say, what if that woman had planned a hit on my child? And now it's her child who took the bullet and now the medicine is sour for her. Do you know what I mean? Because okay, Lukumalo herself has also come out to say, wait a minute, you know, I know a lot of people wish that it was me who took that bullet that night. Who is she referring to? Obviously, in my opinion, she's referring to the Meiwa family and the team that was behind the other lady. Do you understand? You know what I mean? So let us not forget that, you know, the hitman allegedly, you know, the man who is accused number five, contacted both, you know what I mean, Mandisa and Kelly Kumalo. You know what I mean? So I'm sure wherever uh, Senzo Meiwa's mother is, is saying, oh my God, why did the alleged hitman contact Kelly Kumalo? You know what I mean? And then on the other hand, Kelly Kumalo's mother is also saying, but then, you know, the very same man contacted Yo Makoti. Why did he contact Yo Makoti? So you see, what's in a, like this was just a dangerous game for Senzo Meiwa, you know, if um, one of the ladies are involved in his murder. You know what I mean? It could have been one of them. It could have been anyone, you know, in the football fracas. Because remember now, there was a David Mutembu who was also implicated via a phone call. You know what I mean? According to Mr. Stain. You know what I mean? And this David Mtembu allegedly happens to be in a football fracas somehow. So it could be that, you know, Usenzo Meiwa died because somebody in the football field wanted him dead because maybe he was a good um, a player like that and he was like um, on the way of somebody else. You know what I mean? It could have been that his talent was on the way on of somebody else who 
who is also, you know, playing football. And then, you know, his star wasn't shining that much. And he was like, okay, I think my star is not shining that much in the football thing because Usenzo Mei was taking the limelight. You know what I mean? So uh, it could be anything at all if it was a hit it could be the ladies it could be you know his talent uh, that got him you know assassinated it could be anything at all you understand you and i don't know what happened but it is what it is ladies and gentlemen you know today i was just focusing on uh, senzo Meiwa's mother as well as kelly kumalo's mother to say you know what you know even when we don't want to talk about it as oksana Iwuti, there is a fight that is going on under the water with these two ladies you know what I mean? So it is what it is, ladies. That's all I have for now. To leave your comment right below, letting me know what you think of this. Otherwise, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for listening.